whenever I be walking Theo and I want him to come on and he won't, I start acting like we in the shootout. Theo, come on. <laughs> Man's was a gangster in his past life. If you have dogs, I'm not going to judge you. I'm just not a fan of dogs. Like, I'm just not a fan of having to wake up in the middle of the night and take somebody out so they can use the bathroom. You know, I'm not a fan of picking up accidents in the crib. If your dog is trained, then, man, listen. And then, you know what I hate too? I hate when you go to people's houses that have dogs and then they dog just randomly running up on you. Especially if you have a big dog. Your dog is friendly to you. Your dog knows you. And I've said this shit before. A lot of y'all be acting like you speak dog. You don't speak dog. I've seen Dateline. I've seen shows where dog owners are sitting there wondering why the dog turned on them. I seen a video of this lady, a dog turned on her and now she missing half a face. If your dog gonna do that to you, you be taking that mother out to sh You be feeding him. You be pet. Oh, come here, boy. Good boy. Good boy. You be doing all that. And some of y'all, some of y'all be having y'all dogs kissing you in the mouth. We ain't even gonna go there. I know she, she looked like the type that had the dog kissing her in the mouth. And then the dog done turned to her ass. What you think your dog gonna do to me? Hey, Ashley, what is your favorite thing about being a member? What the f- Hey, Ashley, what is your favorite thing about being a member of our gym? I keep telling y'all, these white women have discovered the secret. That right there is Chick-fil-A, Starbucks, and Squats. Chick-fil-A, Starbucks, and Squats. I was not expecting that. I'm sorry. I was <laughs> I was definitely not expecting that. I, that's, that was surprising. I see you with your sweatpants on, hair tied, chilling with no makeup on. Okay, Drake, what do you want? Yeah, nah, for real, that's when you're pretty. Don't take that shit on. Get ass, Drake. For real, my name Gerald. What's your name? Gerald, that's an old ass. <laughs> Nobody under 40 should be named Gerald. <laughs> he don't sound like he's 40. Yo, yo. <laughs> your, mother, your mother and father just looked at you and named you Gerald. Gerald is crazy. Oh, Gerald, you look young, but I'm begging. You're begging? Like, making good? You got some, huh? Okay, babe. What you want? Yeah, for real. You already know what I want, man. I'm trying to get your number. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get your number. I done met a whole lot of girls in the city, but you might be the woman of my dreams. <laughs> Will you come true? <laughs> okay. <laughs> nah, shit, I know a show we can catch. Some R&B and some rap, you know. She come through. When? Mm. when? This weekend. I am kid-free this weekend, and Ooh, I was saying I was looking for something to do. Wow, she kid-free. She kid-free. You kid-free? Okay, uh, can I get your number? Hold on, gang. Kid-free sound like something else. You take on that date, the night might end very well for you. Is that cool? You gonna use it, Gerald? Yeah, I'm gonna use it. <laughs> Right. <laughs> she pretty as hell too, man. I like that. I like women that smile a lot. If you approach a chick and her initial personality is real bubbly and she's not apprehensive to the approach, it makes it easier. I don't like bitches that play hard to get. One thing I can say is when I used to be out here in these streets, these long drawn out conversations, I ain't never had that. Is, hey, I think you're beautiful. What's your name? I ain't gonna keep you for too long, but I'm wondering if I can get your number. Maybe we can hang out sometime. The interaction did not last more than a minute, dog. And then after that, Eva, she gave me the number or she gave me the Blackberry pen. This was back in the day. Some of y'all might be too young to know about the Blackberry situations, but Blackberry was... The Blackberry pens was Snapchat before Snapchat. What are red flags that you're low-key attracted to? Probably, like, they're just super mean and don't want to talk to me, but I love it. My red flag that I like is when they're furries and wear a fursuit and, like, a butt plug. It's freaky. Oh, my God. I love that freaky. Whoa, wait, what? Oh, God. 
we starting off kind of crazy. I was gonna say, this got white chicks written all over it, and then it just went left. When they spread their cheeks open and say, yes, daddy. How, what? First of all, you're not gonna speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. Are you put f in some No, yeah. I don't put them in. They do it themselves. Yeah, this started off so crazy. But I'm gonna touch on the first thing she said. Controlled rudeness is a turn on to some women. My wife used to tell me that too. My wife would be like, oh, you so damn rude. Why you so rude? But they used to find it cute. I remember this chick, basically she was like the first day of school, she gave me a compliment on my sneakers. And the way I responded to her, she wasn't used to dudes responding to her like that. I didn't even realize that we had a conversation prior to, you know, the, the conversation leading up to grown people things. This got white folks written all over it. This got white folks written all over it. I, I'm gonna just keep saying it. Y'all are fearless. Fearless. I still know it's a few of y'all that watch these videos religiously that aren't subscribed. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. And make sure you got the notification bell selected to all. That way you can get all the notifications when I upload these videos. Stop playing with me. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get right. You know the whole concept of bullying just makes no sense to me. Mm. Like, first of all, I went to third grade. Why are you so miserable in the third grade? Mm. And second of all, why are you mad because you think that I'm ugly? Like, if he's so pretty and I'm so ugly, shouldn't I be the one that's mad? You good gene pool having this? <laughs> what the fuck are you angry for? And because you think that I'm ugly. Like, if I think I'm pretty and you think that I'm ugly, it doesn't matter what you think about me, but because you think I'm ugly, you're mad. That don't even make no sense. Like, they have nothing to be that angry about. All we do is color and eat animal crackers, and here you are just mad every day. You need to be mad that you think your favorite color is three. Like, let's start there. Grow up. You need to grow up, and you need to get a job. Damn, in third grade? Yo, you know it's crazy. Sometimes a lot of these videos be coming just in time. Me and my wife was having a conversation. A lady that we met, her kid just recently started going to our son's school. One morning, my wife was about to drop my son off, and she seen them, and... The child didn't want to go to school. I think on the first day of school, because they just started, one of the kids called the little boy ugly. And now he don't want to go to school. And we was talking about that. And I was like, yo, I wonder how our son would handle somebody calling him ugly. Like, I've seen people trying to pick on my son before. And I ain't going to lie. He He's scary as hell. I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm going to keep it 100. He's scary as hell. He not about a, he's not about that life. When we go to the park, I've seen people... Having a way with him. He's not about that life. But when it comes to something like that, like somebody trying to bully him about his looks, you know, his clothes. Because one thing, one thing I'm going to tell you, I make sure that my son go to school fly. Okay? She makes sure my son go to school fly. I just fund the situation. She put the outfits together. So I don't think anybody could talk about him about his clothes. And then when it comes to looks, he know he a pretty boy. He has pretty privilege. Like I've seen my son get away with some shit just because he's handsome. I don't think he's ever heard the word ugly before. I feel as though as parents, we need to understand what bullying is, how bullying can happen, and to be honest with you, put our kids in position to not become targets of bullying. I'm gonna give you an example. When I was in school, I used to tell my pops, hey, they're making fun of my clothes, they're making fun of my sneakers. My father always used to say, I'll get you what you need, not what you want. Now, I never wanted to have every Jordans that dropped. I just wanted to blend in. I wanted to disappear. You know what I'm saying? Believe it or not, if you come into school in hand-me-downs and you come into school in, in, in shit that people can just be like, what the hell is that? Like, what you got on? That makes you more of a target. If your child is telling you they're getting bullied in school, listen to your child. Now, I ain't gonna lie. In some situations, your child is going to have to whoop somebody's ass. I'm just being honest with you. Some people just not going to stop bullying your child until your child put hands on them. 